tonight is the final night of the Republican National Convention with President Trump set to accept the Republican nomination in a speech from the White House. Rick Newman, uh, the White House has been a little bit controversial, the fact that that is where he's going to be accepting uh, the Republican nomination. But what do you think we can expect from President Trump tonight? Well, uh, we know Trump's style here. He's going to bash the daylights out of Joe Biden. He's probably going to make a lot of exaggerated uh, and untrue claims, such as uh, Joe Biden will destroy the suburbs. Joe Biden will uh, tax everybody into oblivion. Joe Biden is a sen senile socialist. It would be a surprise if Trump came out and he had kind of an uplifting message of his own, something fresh uh, for a second uh, term, a vision even. Um, but uh, so far, Trump uh, has not really um, said much at all about what he actually wants to accomplish in a second term. I, it's mostly just more of the same. Uh, and I, I think we're going to I, I mean, Trump has not really surprised us once with his style during the last three and a half years. So I think we're going to get the same combative Trump we're used to. Rick, I thought it was interesting on the third night, how much the, how many women there were that spoke. There's definitely sort of this concerted effort to reach out. And also, you know, how many people of color they have tried to feature? I mean, how effective do you think this is? Are they looking at polls perhaps that may suggest there is some movement or there's possibility for movement on that front? Uh, well, they're, they're sure, surely looking at polls saying they need to get uh, the portion of those voters supporting Trump up. I mean, I think Trump only got 8% of the black vote in 2016, uh, he did get a minor, uh, excuse me, a slight uh, majority of uh, wor uh, working women uh, and college educated women, but polls now show he's losing a lot of those voters to Trump. So for sure he needs to um, gain back some of those voters. You know, just featuring them in uh, his convention is, is not probably not gonna move the needle very much. The biggest question for both of these conventions, Democrat and Republican both, is, when, is whether anybody is watching who is not a core supporter of either one of them. Uh, you know, I think for many voters, it's still a little bit early for them to really be thinking about it if they haven't made up their mind yet. And a lot of people are actually more interested in the three presidential debates coming this fall than in these, um, you, you know, these sort of infomercial infomercials we see at the conventions. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.